we took giant leaps toward exploring the vastness of the universe. 14 years after the moon landing, plans formed for an equally ambitious American adventure to study atoms. Crossing this frontier is the mission of high energy physics and the function of particle accelerators, some of the world's most advanced scientific instruments. But most people outside of North Texas, and even many here today, have never heard of it. The Superconducting Super Collider. Joe Bohr doesn't like to pull out this map, or the suitcase of Superconducting Super Collider, or SSC memorabilia, that he's kept stored away like old baseball cards, but never looks at. There you are. Here's Waxahachie. Bohr was one of the world's leading tunneling experts when he was picked as the construction manager for the SSC's above ground buildings and the 54 mile tunnel that would house the Super Collider's ring. This would have been the world's largest underground project. And when this tunnel boring machine has completed its task, it, along with more than five similar machines, will have chewed a 54 mile oval ring under the Texas countryside. The irony of the massive scale is that its goal was to study the tiniest particles in the universe. My cliche is what the world is made of and how the pieces work. Roy Schwitters left a professorship as a physicist at Harvard and moved to Texas in 1989 after being tapped as the top man in charge of the SSC. It was a big step but it was doable. Animation from the Super Collider at CERN in Switzerland shows how it works, spinning part of an atom called protons around a tube at the speed of light. When they crash into each other, scientists are able to study reactions that haven't happened since the Big Bang. The superconducting super collider is the doorway to that new world of quantum change. It really was a dream project. Edwin Farrow was on Waxahachie City Council and part of the group lobbying to bring home the SSC and its promise of 8,000 jobs. It's something that would really elevate our educational system. Finally, this big project came to town. Ellis County Judge Todd Little was just 18 when the project finally got approved in 1987. I think that scientists would have poured into this region from all over the world. Uh, I mean, we were going to be creating energy by smashing atoms. Waxahachie won because it sits on a bed of limestone, perfect for tunneling. We set world records in tunneling on this job. In 10 months, machines dug 16 miles of the project that would have been three times larger than the one now in Switzerland, twice as big as the channel, and 10 miles larger than Dallas's Loop 12. Criticism began even before construction started in 1991. A one centimeter change in the SSC's tube upped the price by a billion dollars. By 1992, the cost had gone from $3 billion to 10. So we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. And a Texas president had lost the election. Clinton came on and didn't support it, period. It was just that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. New lawmakers with no connection to the project were willing to drop it. The cost of the super collider are too high and the benefits to Americans are too uncertain. Keeps rising from the dead to suck up budget dollars. How are we going to afford it? How are we gonna pay for it? In October of 1993, with $2 billion spent and 2,000 people working on it, I cannot continue support for the SSC. Congress finally killed the SSC. Yeah, our biggest concern was that it wouldn't, that the Waxahachie itself would just fold up. Oh, no, when it left. The shale is easy to cut. Bohr kept digging till the last dollar ran out in 1994, hoping something would change. Bohr stayed, but it would be four years before he could bring himself to visit the site. I have to blank it out of my mind because it, it persists. I keep thinking about it. What could have been? The tunnels have been flooded with water, the shafts are capped, and the buildings now house a chemical manufacturer. What comes to my mind is opportunity lost. Switzerland's Super Collider was eventually finished in 2008 and is responsible for multiple Nobel Prizes, attracts 120,000 visitors a year, and is home to 70% of the world's particle physicists. Well, we'd have them coming to Waxahachie. So how much is that worth to you? And that's something you just can't, can't go out and buy that. It's an unknown history to many and a buried memory for those who almost changed the world. We'll never know what could have been.